very much, Mr. Great. It's a pleasure to come to this committee and work on this bill, the first in my new role. Uh, the member has outlined what the clauses do. I'm not going to repeat that, but just say I'm um, in support of their purpose. That the member mentioned too that this legislation does not exist seems almost un unbelievable. You can't believe that it's taken until 2018 to table such a piece of legislation and create the right to parental leave and pay. I'm therefore pleased that through this private member's bill, and I, 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 I give thanks to the Honourable Member for Thirsk and Martin, who we agree, by the way, that everything <coughs> is better up north. That is one thing that we do, do, do agree on, uh, as, well as, the, as well as the purpose of, of this bill, that, uh, that, that we are, um, we are going to use this committee to, to potentially improve the bill, but make sure that the bill is, is able to pass. I have to say I am humbled to speak in this debate alongside people who have unfortunately had first-hand experience of losing a child and want to place on record how much I admire all of, all of your strength. I think the principle should be that if in work, whatever type of work that is, for however long you've been at that place, when ca catastrophe strikes and your child dies, um, that, you know, either as a result of a long-term health condition, freak accident, or anything in between, the principle is that you should have that time off to recover, and there should be no financial detriment to that period of, of recovery. I just can't imagine the pain and grief of losing the closest person to you, and that you would need to function so quickly after you felt such grief seems, uh, seems impossible to comprehend. There are, of course, and it has been mentioned in previous debates, employers who will be very, very understanding, who will, of course, make time for people to grieve and, and to make arrangements. But we also have to acknowledge, and I think this bill does, that there will be employers who don't have the same compassion at this most dreadful time. And all of the statistics tell us, I mean, uh, the, the National Council for Palliative Care said that a shocking 31% of people who <coughs> had been bereaved in the last five years felt that they hadn't been treated with compassion by an employer. That's an astounding statistic, in my view, and merely proof that the government must, and rightly are, take an action to provide protection for these people. Thank you.